Constant pressure is one of those techniques that is often overlooked, but is actually one of the most effective hunting techniques to use in power line. So practically how you use constant pressure is you want to keep your snake as close as possible to the enemy snake. And this has two major advantages. The first one being stressing your opponent out. If I'm hunting an opponent and sticking really close to them, they'll probably freak out. They're going to be like, oh no, someone is hunting me. And what should I do? And one thing is they might accidentally misclick or stress out or fumble the keys and accidentally slam into you or themselves. And this causes obviously in their death, which is good for you. And another advantage that constant pressure can bring is offensive trapping. And we'll talk about this more later, but practically you can create a pressure point using constant pressure, which is practically a very tight timing when you're hunting an enemy that is really hard to survive and then you can box them in and allow them to practically not escape at all. The U-turn is arguably the best technique to use in both offense and defense in power line. And practically how you use this technique is you want to click the key to the side, which allows you to turn 90 degrees from your position and then you click the key opposite of your position, allowing you to go 180 degrees from your direction, allowing you to dodge some of your opponent's counterattacks, such as the U-turn cut and the cut-in. And this technique works surprisingly really well with constant pressure. Why? Well, because when you are constantly pursuing your enemy and giving them little breathing room, they might throw in a counterattack such as they such as the U-turn cut-in or the cut-in, and practically what you can do is you can avoid that attack relatively easily with the U-turn while still staying on their tail. And practically, this does a lot of things. First of all, what you can do with the U-turn when you are attacking is you can give them so little breathing room that they might have to survive really hard timings to get out, or you just straight up kill them on the spot. This is why the U-turn is super good in offensive situations, and why it is overall one of the best techniques to use in power line. Here's an example of the U-turn being used. In this example, what I'm doing is I'm clicking the left key, which changes my direction to the left, and then I'm clicking the down key, which allows me to turn 180 degrees from my direction practically giving me a U-turn-like appearance. Here's another example of the U-turn, except when it's being used with constant pressure. So practically in this example, you can see that I'm dodging some of the counterattacks provided by the opponent while staying on the opponent's tail and eventually trapping them or kind of killing them in this small box that I made by the U-turn. This was only possible when keeping really close to the enemy and giving them little breathing room while using the U-turn in conjunction with it. Offensive trapping is practically keeping really, really close to the enemy snake while giving them little breathing room, constant pressure practically, except there's a little add-on. Once you are reaching near the enemy snake's head, you want to create a little box around them or encircle them. This leaves them in a tiny area, which they'll most likely die to if you are larger, or will have to survive super super hard timings to get out. Here's an example of offensive trapping. 